Hi, Carol Jacoby here. I'm going to show you how you can use Excel pivot tables and pivot charts to analyze several months of hour by hour data and look at the fluctuations. Does it vary summer to winter or day to night? Weekend versus weekday? I'm using a real life example of examining a year's worth of hour by hour home electrical use to answer these questions in preparation for sizing new rooftop solar for the house. Here's the example data as it comes from my local electric company. Well, not exactly. Most of the data you get from outside sources needs to be massaged to get it in this nice normalized form. With each row an hour and columns for various date and time attributes and usage for that hour in kilowatt hours. Here's what it looked like when I got it. If you want to learn how I transformed it, check out my video preparing your data in Excel. So here's the prepared data. There are more than 8,000 rows here. We know there are fluctuations during the day as we turn things on and off. Let's look at it day by day. Do we tend to use about the same amount of electricity every day? This kind of question is aggregation. So let's use pivot tables to total the usage for each day. Here's how you do it. Click anywhere in this table, then click pivot table under insert. Insert, pivot table. It selected the whole thing. See the dotted line around it? Now where do we want the pivot table? Let's put in the same sheet, say, over here. Okay. Now we get a blank pivot table. Up here are all the column headings, and we build the pivot table by dragging them into these boxes. Our key outcome is usage, of course, so we drag that into the summation box called values. This adds up all the usage numbers and gives us the total electrical usage for the year in kilowatt hours. We could also, if we want to, see the average hourly usage, the maximum. Whoa, that's a lot and minimum hourly usage. As expected, we see some hours use a lot more electricity than do others. We're looking at it hour by hour, but this will be more meaningful to look at it in terms of total daily usage. Does that vary much? We can do that by making the rows date. Drag it down here to the row box. Whoops, Excel is getting ahead of us. It tries to figure out what we want. And usually it's right, but this time it's wrong. There are many cases, of course, where you'd want to aggregate your data by month or quarter. But this time we want to look at it date by date. What we can do is we can do undo pivot table grouping, or just do a standard undo and we get what we want. Now, when we sum usage, we're totaling the usage for all the rows with that date. So we get this table of usage by date. To see how daily usage varies over the year, let's plot it. Click anywhere in the pivot table, select pivot table analyze, and click on pivot chart. Bang, there's a chart. We can move this, we can make it bigger. We see that there's a lot of fluctuations day to day. This says if you size your solar system for average daily usage, there are going to be days when it doesn't generate enough electricity. Just out of curiosity, let's see what that average daily usage is. Uh, we use the average function. This is the formula, so we start with equals. Then the name of the function we want to use. Average. Open paren. And then the numbers we want to average which we can enter by scrolling over all 365 days. Now close parenthesis and enter a return. So 22.8 something kilowatt hours average usage per day. You can see that if you size your solar for the average daily usage, there will be a lot of times it won't be enough. You'd need a system more than twice as big to give you enough every day for sure. 
The cost benefit trade offs here are really complex and they depend a lot on how things work with your electrical provider. But this gives you the data you need to think about how much power you actually want to pay for. Now, the great thing about pivot tables is how you can easily aggregate by different attributes. We wanted to know how it varied seasonally, so let's look at that. We'll drag the date out of here and look at monthly totals. Make the rows month. Just drag it in here, and there it is. We didn't even have to recreate the graph. It just filled it in. We see we use more electricity during the summer. Now, how about day and night? This is an issue because you're generating electricity only when the sun's shining. Let's put hour in here. Now, here's what it's doing. For each hour, say 8 a.m., it's finding the electrical usage for each day of the entire year at that specific hour and adding them all together. Again, you get a graph and you can see what part of the day you're using the most electricity. This might guide you to shift some activities into different times to smooth that out. Finally, how about day of the week? Get rid of hour and drag in day of week. We see we use more electricity on the weekends, day one, which is Sunday, and day seven, Saturday. Wednesday is also high for some reason. So we've seen how pivot tables can slice and dice your data instantly to look at it from a broad range of viewpoints, and pivot charts give you a visual view of those viewpoints. If you'd like to learn more about how to use pivot tables, check out excelfordecisionmakers.com and the link to the class Getting Answers from Data Using Excel for Mac or Windows. The link is also in the description for this video. I'm interested in your comments. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.